An international powwow is pushing a pro-death agenda in London this week with a rather noteworthy co-host. A new poll says your marital status is a good indicator of who you'll vote for this November. And China is paying for a horrific act committed against a pregnant mother. All that coming up for you today on Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Upping the contraception ante, billions of dollars are being thrown into a pot meant to push a global contraception agenda at London's so-called Family Planning Summit this week. Over $2.5 billion have been pledged by larger global powers, as 20 poor developing countries say they will make access to contraception a priority with the funding. Another priority of the summit is to get international religious leaders on board with the agenda, and the health minister of Senegal boasts that Muslim leaders are on the coordinating committee, even claiming the Catholic Church teaching is supportive of the conference's agenda. Melinda Gates of the Gates Foundation, a dissenting Catholic herself, and co-host of the summit with the United Kingdom, says she disagrees with church teaching, that what bishops say doesn't matter, but what women decide does. Conscience liberation legislation. Two House representatives are introducing a bill that would ban Obamacare from being able to penalize religious employers for not providing contraception. Health coverage must include coverage of contraception, sterilization, and abortifacient drugs under the new law. Currently, if a religious employer refuses to comply with the mandate, they could be required to shell out $100 per day per employee, which could wind up bankrupting many companies. The bill's primary sponsor, House Republican Jim Sensenbrenner, pointed to a disturbing outcome if something isn't done. He says, quote, If these taxes are levied and they are enforced, there will be no religious-affiliated institutions left in this country. Barack Obama leads Mitt Romney in general election polls by a thin margin, but some of the latest information says marriage is drawing some well-defined lines in the presidential race. A Kinnipack University poll finds Obama has a bigger influence with single voters, sitting over Romney by 20 percentage points. Conversely, married voters are backing Romney, who carries the support of 13 percent more married voters than Obama. Kinnipack pollster Peter Brown points out, contrary to popular belief, the marriage gap is larger and more telling about Obama's campaign than his lead among American women voters. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Episcopal excommunication. A Chinese bishop ordained without Vatican approval to the communist Chinese, quote, official Catholic Church has been formally excommunicated by the Vatican. In a letter sent from the Holy See to the Chinese government confirming the ex excommunication of illicitly ordained Bishop Joseph Ye Fu Shang, the Holy See has also welcomed the ordination of Shanghai Bishop Thaddeus Ma Da Qin. However, Bishop Ma Da Qin's courageous actions of abandoning the state-established Chinese Catholic Patriotic Association have caused him to be forcibly taken to, Ch to Shanghai Seminary where he has been confined by government authorities. The new bishop's confinement by communist officials has not only kept him from carrying out his Episcopal duties, but has also prevented him from saying his first mass as a bishop. Abortion blood money. China is paying out restitution money to a woman who, has beat, who was beaten by family planning officials and forced into a late-term abortion. Feng Jianmei made international news last month when a picture surfaced of her lying in a hospital bed next to the bloodied corpse of her unborn child. The local government is giving Fang and her husband the equivalent of only $11,000 after the physically 
and mentally traumatizing incident for agreeing to settle their civil suit against the government out of court. Fang's husband escaped from the hospital and sought help from Christian lawyers to sue the government. Despite their brutal treatment, Fang and her husband are hoping to have more children. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks more about Luther's heresies, and this time it's about the Eucharist. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us, and as always, God bless you.